What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I'll show you how to edit images for our app with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna edit images, but before we get started, if you like this video and wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships on my courses, videos, and books, runtime fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. And remember, going up very soon, we're tripling the price in the new year, so if you want that cheap price, you gotta get it now before the year ends. Okay, in the last video, we added the ability to upload images to our venues, and it was kinda convoluted, it took a little while to do, but it wasn't too bad, and we got this going. Now, we wanna talk about editing these images. Say we've got an image here and we wanna change it. How do we do that? Well, if we go to Venues, go to All Venues, and click on Last, Vegas Pool 2, Okay, we come back, we wanna update this thing. We can't really do that. It looks like we can, but if we try, let's see, uh, I got another, let's see, I got, I don't know, some other image here, big.png, we try and update this. We go back, Vegas pool, uh oh, it's still the pool, right? So something's gone wrong here, we need to fix this so that we can edit and update these images, and that's what we're gonna do in this video. So let's take a look at the code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal, as always, and as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Django videos in this series, so check that out if you haven't so far. Okay, this is actually pretty easy, shouldn't take us very long at all. So in the last video, in our views.py file, we came down to our add venue, and we added this request.files. We didn't do that for the uh, for the update venue function. And so we need to do that. And really that's all there is to it. So we go update, come down here. And it's a little tricky here because here we're propagating our form with old data, like the, the previously stored data, right? So if we come back over here and we come back here and click update, you know, this form is being filled out with all the old data, right? So, but you'll see, we sort of take care of that stuff right here, right? Request.post or none, and then we're passing in the instance of, oh, this is the update event thing. We want update venue, right? So, okay, here we go. So request.post or none, and we're passing in the instance of the venue, right? So it's this line right here. So we need to also put in request.files or none, right? So, all right, that looks good there. And if we look through here, I think that's pretty much all there is to it. Yep, that looks good. So let's go ahead and save this. Now, remember this form is using the venue form. So if we go to our forms.py file, we only have one venue form, right? So we're using this same form to both add a venue and update a venue. So we don't have to make any changes here. We've already got this venue image thing listed in there. We've already added this to the, the model. If we go back to our models.py file, we've got this venue underscore image. We did this in the last video, right? We added it, we added a migration, we pushed the migration. So that's all ready to go. We just need to tweak that one little line. So, okay, that looks good. Now we've got to do one more thing. If we come over here into our templates events and go to our, let's see, update venue, right? Here's our form. Remember in the last video, we had to change the encoding type. So we need to do the same thing here in order to allow this to upload video, or upload images. So uh, let's go to our add venue.html page, and I'm just gonna copy this from what we did in the last video. Head back over to our update venue, and let's just slap that in there. Okay, that looks good. So let's head back over to the website, go to our Vegas pool, there it is, and let's try and update this guy. So I'm gonna click browse, and let's pick a different picture. I've got that weird kivy picture, what's that? Nope, nothing there. Ooh, we've got some sunrise pictures. Let's try that one. All right, so let's go ahead and update this. Come back over here, Vegas pool. All right, now we've got a changed picture. And that's all there is to it. So much easier than the original uploadings. Not much we had to do, we just need to change uh, basic setting in our views.py file and then the encoding for the actual form itself. And that's all there is to it. Now you can also delete images here, right? So we can go to Vegas pool update. If we click the clear button here and then update and then go back again, boom, no picture at all. So we can update it again, add a different one. There we go. Let's see how that looks. Same deal. Very nice and pretty cool. 
So if that's all for this video, if you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to that channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships. It pays just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Doing over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.